Hi everybody, it is Building Inspector aka Oki and I am doing a video how to create your character on a house actor. So here we go. Um, this is a follow-up video from the one that I just did, how to save your character and house actor appearances. So this is how to create a house actor now that you've already saved the appearances. So I'm going to go up to a house actor and um, what you do, once it's set down, you can pick um, select race. You pick the race. He's a barbarian. Click OK. You have to type in your character's name that you're on, not the house actor you're creating. Because I could create um, an ocarina character house actor who is a dark elf instead i wouldn't type in her name i type in the actual character that i'm on that's creating this mannequin or not mannequin house actor it says mannequin not house actor i think they should change that but anyway um i'm gonna go ahead and do that so i can show you each step i picked the race it automatically makes it female so i have to cancel that window i pick um swap gender so here he is without anything set um i saved the file before so load settings from file and then i click that and i go and i pick right now he's in soga which is the default that i use for barbarian so i'm going to pick building appearance and click ok notice his appearance shows up so i like that i click ok now he's set for one of the models. I need to set both models. So I have to go to the EQ2 menu button, click it, click options. Um, I go to the options screen. I don't have to have advanced clicked. I pick alternate models and then here it shows um, his race barbarian male. I uncheck it. If, if it's opposite for you, you check it. It doesn't matter as long as you, it's a different appearance uh, model. So here we go. It's the original model. He's randomly picked to look like this. I don't like it. I want my... So I right-click on the house actor. Customize face. I, I could just set, pick some options, but I have the file saved. So load settings from file. Building original. Pick it, OK. This is the appearance that I like him to have. I click OK. His model is set. I click cancel so my actual options don't change. If you go there now, I can check, uncheck. It's those two appearances that I picked. Cancel. Everything's good to go. Now I can right click. I can pick set name. I definitely want to name it because people need to know who it is. So I'm just going to say building inspector. I can put the last name if I want to. I don't have to, but I need to name him. Now I want to clothe him. I right click again, customize. I can open my um, character window. I can go to the appearance tab and I can start dragging over his gear. I like to just put it in this darker box area that surrounds it so I don't have to pay attention to which slot I'm trying to put it on. So yeah, I just drag it all over. If I do it in this little um, bordering area, it puts it in the right slot. I can even give him his weapon. Bam, I'm going to now close it. And there's his appearance. And I put a bucket on his head. <laughs> so there he is. He's, a, he's dressed. He's named, his appearance is loaded for both models. I will have a video to follow up with um, how to get other decorators' appearance. See you in the next video.